Um, someone asked, I, I actually talked about this in our Signal group for our patrons. What do you think about iCloud Private Relay? Is it good enough if you use mostly Safari? So for people who don't know, on Apple devices, you can use Private Relay, which is essentially like a kind of a VPN on steroids, but it only works in Safari. So it's like a VPN that only applies to Safari and web traffic. So if you have a second browser on your phone, if you use Brave on your phone on an iPhone, it won't go through this VPN. Here are my thoughts. I think that A, it's not a bad implementation. It's a pretty like upgraded version of a VPN in a lot of ways, and it's a very trustless model, all things considered. There are still some issues with it, but it's pretty solid. But honestly, it's probably a really good middle ground for a lot of people. A lot of people recently have been complaining about like certain apps on their phone that like block them from using their VPN. And so unless you're on Android and you can do split tunneling to exclude the app, you probably get the most benefit from a VPN in your web browser. That's because like the apps you have on your phone are probably trusted and it's not a big deal whether or not you're using a VPN and hiding your IP address from those apps um, because you manually install these supposedly trusted apps on, onto your phone. But it's when you're web browsing where you know your IP address could actually be used to track you across the internet. So I think it's a cool workflow. I don't think that it being tied to an iCloud account is awesome, but I wish that there were more browsers that had like a browser only VPN option that wasn't system wide because it's a really cool workflow that gives you probably like the best benefit with the least drawbacks. It's also just really smooth. You wouldn't know that iCloud private relay is even on. It's kind of just like going on behind the scenes. So those are kind of my thoughts on it. I, yeah. I wouldn't use Safari just for that feature alone, but it's a, it's a cool feature, I think. I don't know how you feel about it. The only thing I would add um, as far as your last point goes is that it's it's very much a product that's meant for like literally anyone can use it. And as a result, it kind of, the fail state of it, it, it kind of just falls back seamlessly to not being encrypted or connected. And sometimes it notifies you, I think it'll say like private relay isn't available on this mm -hmm. network or whatever, and then it just stops working. So it's not like a 100% reliable option as far as like compared to other VPNs with like kill switches um, to disconnect your internet if they're disconnected or that kind of thing. You don't have that guarantee necessarily with private relay. Yeah, I just agree. a warning. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good way to, it's not robust. I mean, frankly, everything on iOS, even a full VPN on iOS, you probably shouldn't trust and not leak traffic <laughs> uh, because Apple still seems to think that not having a system-wide VPN is a good idea on iOS. But yeah, I think I, I think Private Relay's main target demographic is someone who like, it's not the end of the world if their IP address is leaked on a website, but they want some of like the basic protections without like that many drawbacks. And I think that's what they accomplish pretty decently. But that's a good point too. I do get that pop up sometimes on different networks where it's like iCloud private really not, not available on this network. But if you don't have that notification, then there's no way to really do anything about it. You just watched a clip from the TechLore Clips channel, which is taken from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and so much more about tech to give you a better relationship with the technology you use. Check out the main channel over here and also check out maybe another suggested video to learn more.